besides obviously the title. Uh, you know, I, I want to make uh, a few takedowns and um, I just, I waited. I got to shoot a little bit more, 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 more pressure and uh, I should have come up with a I had a couple times where I backed against the fences and I just moved away and, and reset back into the cage and uh, kind of let them give them a chance to recover and, and think it. I heard your corner continually yell out, go for the takedown, go for a takedown, but you weren't going for it. Why was that? Well, there was a couple of times I did go for the takedown, and he was able to shut me off right away, and, and I also had the knee in the back of my head. I know he had powerful knee, powerful kicks, I didn't want to run into something. It was just more of a cautious type of thing, and um, the other takedown that I didn't go for, uh, he was able to stop it pretty easily, so um, you know, I just, he was a better, uh, better fighter that night, or tonight, and you know, I just wasn't able to. Uh, did you feel the new canvas was slippery at all? Uh, there was a couple of times I, I slipped a few kicks that I, uh, I threw and I did a little bit. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about it. And uh, it looked like, the, of course you have to watch the video again, but it looked like a couple of times he, he, he perhaps had to rock and you came right back five seconds later like nothing happened. Do you feel that's one of your uh, better attributes is your ability to recover quickly? Uh, and how, what do you think that comes from? You know, I've never really been rocked that many times in a fight, and uh, you know, people have a heavy, heavy punch on them. Uh, my biggest thing is when, when you do get rocked, you don't want to be on your back, you don't want to you know, be on the floor because that's when guys pounce on you. You got to get right back to your feet, circle away, and then get your, uh, you know, your bearings back. Um, it's just more of a natural reaction. Like, I've only been rocked once, and I can believe that was against Strauss, and um, I was able to recover right away. It's also, uh, you know, just really, really in shape and really slow. And, do you foresee uh, over the years a possible merry-go-round where maybe you got the three of you guys, including Strauss, might, might be taking turns at the belt? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of upcoming talent right now, but I, I definitely see uh, me, Strauss, and uh, Pitbull having a lot of uh, fights in the future. And, you know, I'm looking to get back in there and uh, get my title back, and you know, I definitely want to rematch it. Was Pitbull's cardio better than it was the first fight? You know, the first fight last round, he was somewhat slowed down. Um, you know, Pitbull was definitely ready for five rounds, um, but the different strategy that he had is, you know, he, he fired and he uh, punched and he was, like, he was able to move around a lot, he took a lot of angles and circle a lot, so um, he wasn't wasting too much energy in the first fight. Uh, he, was, he was definitely taking his time and uh, he was all right over this time. I think that uh, really was a smart game for him. What differences did you see in him tonight as opposed to your first meeting? Um, he was just more cautious, more patient. Um, you know, he didn't move forward a lot. He was uh, fought backwards. He was able to circle and move the fence a lot, and, and just kept his distance. You know, he, uh, he moved in when he was ready, and um, you know, I, I felt like I was chasing a lot and wasn't really firing and, and uh, finding my my rhythm. Now. So he did a great job of moving and moving me, and um, like I said, I should have capitalized on uh, getting into the fence and matching up. Going into the fifth round, what did your corner tell you? We uh, pretty much said we were, we were down. I need, I need to like, take him down. We need to get to the top. We need, uh, we need to look to finish. We need to go this is your last round. You need to put it all, all you have in this round. And, uh, and then I, I tried everything I could. It was a solid chin, uh, heavy hand, and you uh, were that. How quickly would you like to return? I'll ride away. I'll ride away. Every time I lose, I'm, I, I'm not going It's going to bother me a lot. I'm going to go home, watch the fight, review it, and just know that I can do better. You know, I, I know that in the back of my mind, I'm a better fighter than I am. You know, I'm just going to have to come back stronger next time. Hey, is the plan to move down to Texas full time? Yes. This is my first uh, training camp at the different gym. And uh, I had a great training camp. Uh, you know, no complaints there. First time that I, I switched camp and tried something different, so I'm not using that as an excuse. I, I had a great camp, but uh, I'm looking to move down there full time and um, yeah, just making it. Uh, Let's go. Last question for that.
So, but Patricio has said in the past that what makes you so dangerous is the fact that you're very patient and you bide your time. Uh, do you feel, in a way, he was playing your game as well tonight? Yeah, he definitely was. Uh, Pitbull's a very aggressive fighter and he had his moments, but at the same time, he was able to uh, elude and move away and, and um, you know, just stayed on the, uh, the defense. He moved, along, he moved around a lot, he took his angles, took his time, and then, you know, waited for his opening. So it wasn't that, uh, that real aggressive Pitbull like we've seen in the past. And, you know, it was a smart game on his team. Okay, this is a different path. Thank you, guys. Thank you.